Hey guys, Windows 8 TM Hacks here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install the Windows 10 Technical Preview on your Microsoft Surface Pro 3. Now, um, what you're going to need to do is go to the websites in the description and go ahead and download the Surface Pro 3 software download it and you go down to Surface Pro 3 and then download that you're probably going to need the um, Surface Pro 3 pen driver as well and then click next click on allow once click save and then save. Now these will take a little bit to download. And you're also going to need to download the Windows 10 Technical Preview um, ISO image as well. And then once you have successfully done that, we're going to go ahead and um, go to the ISO image that you have downloaded. We're going to download the 64-bit, sorry. And um, open it. And you're also going to need a USB flash drive, uh, 32 gigabyte flash drive you're only going to need a 8 to an 8 gigabyte flash drive insert the flash drive open the ISO image and then copy to And then go straight down to the flash drive and click copy. And we'll start copying everything over. Now that that has completed, we're going to go ahead and um, create the virtual hard disk. Just enter an um, partition and then enter the disk management. Go over to action. Create VHD, browse to uh, the C drive, click on new folder, and make it VHD, and then name the file Windows, and then save. We're going to make the hard disk about 30 gigabytes. Just see what is free on your um, on yours. I have about 57, so I should be fine. Change the megabytes to gigabytes. I'm gonna make it so then um, it is fixed size, and then click OK. While that is creating the virtual disk, we're going to go ahead and turn off BitLocker. To install the Windows 10 technical preview, you have to turn off the BitLocker to make it so then you could have the operating system side by side and not run um, just the Windows 10 technical preview because it is only a preview um, as the main operating system.
just right click it, click on manage BitLocker. And then turn off. For some reason, File Explorer has um, restarted. We're probably going to have to go back and disable it. Okay, and a reminder this it has still continued the um, encryption, so then I'll decrypt it. It appears as if the virtual, mach virtual um, hard disk has been created and the decryption is only at 6% uh, right now, so I'm going to come back when it has finished. Now that the decryption has completed, we can go ahead and um, can go ahead and install the Windows Technical Preview. Go ahead and go to your PC settings, and then click on Update and Recovery, Recover, and then Restart Now. Go ahead and click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and Command Prompt. Go ahead and click on your user. Enter in the password. When you're in CMD, go and enter in um, Notepad. And then try and open a file and go to this PC and then look at your recovery disk look at the letter it is D for me and the built-in storage is C so what I'm gonna wanna do is go to disk part and enter in select vdisk file the equal sign and then you're gonna put C backslash Select VDisk C and then put the folder that you named VHD 
and then backslash and then windows and then enter period VHD when it has been selected enter attach V disk when it has been attached go ahead and exit and then enter notepad again and open go back to this PC go to your removable disk select file of type files of type and make it show all and then right click on setup and open and then select your language your language and country accept the license terms agreement go to advanced and then scroll down to the very bottom where your 30 gigabyte VHD is and click next This process is going to take some time and you can't very see it very well from where it is, but Once it has completed and it starts to count down, you could remove the USB flash drive and it will automatically restart and begin the process of installing it. Go ahead and tap on Windows Technical Preview. You select uh, Use Express Settings or Custom. I'm going to select Custom. You're going to make a local name because there is no wireless drivers installed yet you're gonna notice a lag when it um, comes to the start menu because uh, the video drivers are not installed yet it is not due to the camera
Now that it has been successfully installed, let's go ahead and install the drivers. Let's go to Windows D in this computer. Go to Users, select your user. Go to the Downloads. And then extract all the files and folders to my documents <laughs> while it's doing that go into the charms bar go to settings Sorry, not personalization. We're going to go to PC info. Click on device manager. And as you see, there is a bunch of unknown drivers. We are going to go through them one by one and then update the drivers. Click on Browse this computer, it will automatically select the Documents folder. Click on Next. And then um, there's other drivers that you're going to want to update, which is in the firmware. You're going to update all these too. Click on next, after you click on browse, so we'll notice that it is all Surface Pro, and then the display, you can update that one, and then you're also going to be updating the audio inputs, but from the, oh, from sound and video game controllers. There's not much else you're going to have to update. Um, it doesn't appear as if there's anything else other than uh, those three areas. The other devices, sound and sound video and game controller and the firmware and the display those are areas you're going to have to update and that is it once you have updated all the drivers you will be able to use your Microsoft Surface Pro 3 in the Windows 10 technical preview this has been brought to you by Windows 8 CM Hacks like, comment, subscribe